What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 14 of Out of the Shadows. This one is called Fuck Labels, Be You. Now, this episode is going to have a lot to do with honesty and the labels that we put on things. Obviously, I'm here talking about depression and my anxiety, specifically my own experiences with them. Now, depression and anxiety, these two words conjure up all sorts of images in our head. We hear that someone's depressed and immediately we think like, oh my God, they must be super negative or are they on pills or they must be really weird. You know what? I definitely don't want to be with someone like that. They're probably really unstable. And because people have these associations with depression, it makes us very scared and usually ashamed to admit that we have depression, have experienced depression, or have a clinical diagnosis of depression. An example in my own life, I was dating this girl briefly, this was actually within the last year, and the topic of self-help came up. And I was talking about how I read self-help books and I follow a lot of people who are self-help advocates as well as personal growth advocates. And she had asked me whether or not I'd ever been depressed, being that typically if you seek out self-help or things like that, you've experienced some kind of emotional distress in your life. I said something to her to the effect of, you know, I've, I've had hard times in the past or I've, I've struggled in the past. I was too scared to just say yes. I was too scared to just say, yeah, you know what, I have been depressed. And it sucks that we're in a time where we're all still very afraid to admit it and ashamed of it, you know. It, it shouldn't have to be like that, you know, and that's why I think things like this are very necessary. There needs to be more of a dialogue and more of an open conversation about it. There needs to be this sense of inclusion. So for people who've experienced depression, there's the message of like, hey, you know what, you're not the only one. And for people who may not understand depression, the message of, you know what, people who are depressed are just as good as anyone else. They're not freaks, they're not weirdos, they're not someone you need to avoid. So with labels, obviously, we all tend to jump to conclusions. And we need to really train ourselves not to do that. Now, I'm not saying to ignore your intuition. There are absolutely situations and people that we get bad feelings about, bad vibes, and you should go with that. Typically, your gut's going to serve you well and get out of there. But there's this tendency we have to see something that looks bad on paper and immediately just write the person off, get out of there, and that's what we need to work on. These are things where you, know, you hear something like, oh, someone's been depressed, or they're in debt, or maybe someone that they're related to went to prison before, you know, something, something big. Maybe they're currently unemployed and they have been for X amount of time, whatever. And we hear these things right away. We're like, nope, okay, not dealing with this, getting out of here. This is a huge red flag. I'm done. And in that situation, you're judging someone based on one aspect of their life, something that happened to them, or maybe they're currently going through in the case of the unemployment example. And that doesn't necessarily define who they are. Just because someone's experienced depression or they have amassed debt over time, that doesn't mean, oh my God, this is a horrible person, stay away from them. They could be an amazing person. The Whatever experience you're judging them on could have actually made them really grow as a person and make them a much more desirable person to have in your life. So I think really what it comes down to is we all need to be more honest with both ourselves and other people. We have this natural tendency to, to try and create this facade, this front of what we think people are going to like. You know, being acting this way is going to make people like me and this way I'll avoid judgment and rejection, but that's, that's not how it works. Um, something I struggled with for a long time was perfectionism. And I still have to be very aware of this because I'm, I'm not perfect. And the major problem with perfectionism, two major problems, I would say. One, you are going to be constantly disappointed because no one is perfect. It simply doesn't exist. And two, you're going to end up creating more stress, more fear, and ultimately more depression because you're trying to hold yourself to these standards that are quite literally impossible to reach. Consequently, you're going to beat yourself up for not measuring up to this, as I said, impossible standard. 
And I found it's really amazing just how many things we can try to make perfect. It, for me, bled into every aspect of my life. You know, it was, I had to have the right music that was going to motivate me in the best way. I had to, if, if I was depressed, I had to find the best distraction, the best movie, the best book, what was going to take me out of that state, at least for, you know, that amount of time. I would try to plan things out if I had a social or professional meeting, you know, I had to figure out what was the most optimal time for me to leave so that I wouldn't be too early or too late. And essentially all we're trying to do with this is control things that we can't necessarily control. The idea there is that we're going to reduce the amount of fear and anxiety, the chance that something is going to go wrong. But in the end, we have the opposite effect. We create more fear. We create more stress because we're trying to orchestrate things in this perfect way. And that's just not how it's going to go. Often in life, we need to simply go with the flow. You need to let go. You need to let the situation happen. And you need to respond accordingly. It's a basic premise in martial arts. You can't plan out a fight. You can't think, all right, well, this guy's going to do this. Then I'm going to block like that. Then I'm going to do this. And then it's going to go like that. Because the moment you have this preconceived notion of how it's going to go, you know, you're thinking, all right, he's going to swing with the right, so I'm going to block with my left. And then next thing you know, you go to block and he hits you with the other hand. And now you're playing out the window. Now you don't know what to do. You have to pretty much train attributes in yourself, like in martial arts, just like in life. You train things in yourself. You cultivate abilities. And then you're able to address a situation properly, no matter what happens. You don't think about it, you just go with it. The more you anticipate, the less effective you're going to be. That's just the way it tends to play out. And it's it's scary because it creates uncertainty. And most of us don't like uncertainty. You know, we we fear the unknown, and that's what holds a lot of us back from doing things that we want to do. So ultimately, in my opinion, I think it really comes down to asking yourself, how can I be me? How can I be truest to myself and what I believe? Not, you know, how can I be the person who everyone else is going to like? Or how can I best create this persona that is going to keep me safe from rejection and judgment? It's not going to happen. There's always going to be people who don't like you. There's always going to be people who judge you. And you know what? Typically... I shouldn't even say typically, really, those kind of people you wouldn't want to associate with anyway. So they're irrelevant in the end. Anyone that you're going to want to associate with, that you're going to want as a friend, as a business partner, anything like that, they're not going to judge you. They're going to be open to what you're saying, or at the very least, they're going to have an open mind. And if they disagree with you, they're not going to be aggressive or negative or whatever about it. It's going to be a very calm experience if this is a worthwhile individual. So really, you know, like I said, it's, it comes down to asking yourself, how can I honestly express myself? Imperfections and all. All right, guys, this was a little bit of a rushed episode, I feel. I had a lot going on this week, so the subject matter, I'm, I'm confident in it, but I don't know. We'll see how this one comes out. I hope you guys like it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Uh, if you have any ideas for future episodes, any questions, feel free to message me. Also, if you want to direct message me on Instagram, um, I'll put a link below. It's at Out of the Shadows Corvo, all one word. And I hope you guys are having a good week, and I will see you next week. Take care.